Hey, so I have three different things that I'm going to show you today. Uh, I'm going to try to do it quickly. Um, and I guess for a lesson, I want to talk about the phrase practical strength. So I'm going to use it quite a bit, and it's one thing that I go for. So practical strength is just what it sounds like. It's getting strong at motions and movements and muscles that you actually do throughout the day that, you know, are going to come in handy. One good example of not practical strength is arm wrestling. So arm wrestling is a very specific motion that takes very specific muscles that you use almost no other time than when you're arm wrestling. So guys that do that like get jacked in very specific ways and they have very specific ways to train because it's just not something that you have to do. Like you're never in a situation where you have this one lever that you have to turn sideways <laughs> like this that's really difficult to push down, you know. So, um, but for practical strength, that's one thing, one reason I do a lot of pull-ups and why squats are important. Those are muscles and things that you do, you know, anytime you lift something heavy, you know, you're probably going to use some of your squat muscles. Um, anytime you climb anything, you know, like rock climbing or climbing a tree or, you know, if you're an action hero and you're hanging off the edge of a cliff and you have to pull yourself up, you know, because I know that happens to you quite often up there. So, practical strength, that's what that means. So, if you hear me throw around that term, it just means the training that we're doing is, you know, to work muscles that we're actually going to use because, yeah, it's practical. So, I have three different exercises. Today's arm day. Um, I, I don't want you to go too heavy on arms because you said you don't want to get bulky and that's one thing with women that like, it doesn't take too long to bulk up arms. I mean, I have big arms now and it didn't take that long because they're fun to work and everything. But, um, I'm going to show you a tricep exercise, which I think you should do, um, maybe once a week. I don't think you need to go like too heavy or anything with it. Um, but if you do... Let me just put this over here. If you do some tricep exercises, um, one, you'll keep that arm flab, the little bat wing from, you know, it'll keep that area tight. And for any type of pulling exercise, like pull-ups or rows or anything like that, it'll, it'll definitely help. So what you'll do, you're going to do it with a kettlebell. Um, but all you're really going to do is you're going to take the kettlebell and you're going to hold it by the handle, like upside down. And you're just going to put it behind your head and lift it straight up overhead. So here I'll show you with a dumbbell. Ouch. Just hit my thumbnail. So you just pick it up overhead and you bring it down and you extend straight up. Hear that clicking? Clicking's okay. Pain is, pain is not good, but clicking is okay. So, again, if you want to do a 10 by 10 workout with those, it's going to be pretty easy for you. But I, I would try to do that, do a 10 by 10 of those um, once a week. Because, again, it's not going to get you too bulky, but it'll help tighten things up. Um, all right, so that's exercise number one. This is Choose Your Own Adventure Day. So you can go ahead and do that one. And you can do any combination of these exercises as you want. Exercise number two. So stretching is really important, too. It'll help keep you from getting injured, especially since you're like 40 something years old now, right? So, and since we all have bad knees, this is something that is really recommended. It's just a deep squat. You go all the way down and you hold it. And they say you should try to do this for 30 seconds a day. Just squat down and hold it for 30 seconds and just do that once a day. And it's crazy, it seems really easy, but even right now, like I can feel my calves tightening up, I can feel my knees are a little uncomfortable. It's like, it's not something that we're used to doing. And they say that that's why um, Americans in general, um, or Americans especially, have a lot of like back and knee and joint and hip issues because we don't do this from day to day. We're always sitting on stuff. But people in other cultures, like over in Asia, like when they're taking care of their kids, they squat down when they're working in like rice patties they squat down like when they're around a fire they squat down it's it's more part of their day so they don't have some of the same health issues that we do so I would squat down 
and try to stay there for say maybe just like 10 seconds and then stand back up and you're gonna be a little stiff when you stand back up rest for maybe another 10 seconds 30 seconds however long squat back down nice and slow you don't want to hurt anything you can hear my knees crack still um, and hold it for another 10 seconds or so and try to do 10 of those again it's not gonna be like strenuous it's more just like to get your body used to it and loosen things up I had a third exercise I was gonna show you but I think for today why don't you try to do both of those do 10 deep squats nice and slow and controlled and just hang out down there for let's say 10 seconds each and um, then do the overhead tricep extension you can use your kettlebell again you don't have to go heavy with that but um, that'll help tighten things up and that's what I got for today. So 10 deep squats and a 10 by 10 of uh, tricep overhead extensions.